One player I like a lot for the Saturday slate is John Brown, who's $5,700. We finally saw Brown back in action in week 17. He hadn't played since week 10. He came through with four catches, 72 yards and a touchdown. In each of his last three games, he's now had at least 72 yards receiving. This Buffalo Bills team has the highest implied team total of any team this weekend. And we know that Brown is capable of making a big play given his history and given the fact that he has a higher than average average depth of target this year. He's facing an Indianapolis team that was completely average at stopping wide receivers this season when looking at adjusted fantasy points allowed. So I think that Brown's a solid play at $5,700. As is another wide receiver with the last name Brown, and that's Antonio Brown. Mike Evans is banged up. That could open up more opportunity for Brown, who's played as the number three option in that Bucks offense since coming back. But A.B. saw an absolutely absurd 37% target share last week with Mike Evans out of that game. And even if he gets like 60% of that, he'll see a reasonable amount of volume to pay off that $6,500 price tag. Now, the matchup is not great. Washington's defense was third best defending wide receivers when looking at adjusted fantasy points allowed this year, but it's a small three game slate. You won't have ideal matchups. Brown is a good value given the volume that he should see in this matchup. And then finally, there's Jonathan Taylor. Taylor's averaged a 72% running back rush share per game to go along with a 9% target share over his last six games. He's turned that into elite production. He's been performing like a top five running back. Now, there is some downside here. I do worry a little bit that the Colts could see a negative game script. And if that's the case, they may go to Naheem Hines a little bit more than Jonathan Taylor. But even still, given the smaller slate, given the matchup too, they should have to run the ball against the Bills if they want to win. I like Jonathan Taylor at $8,800.